Hello friends, in this session we will see numerical on voltage regulation by EMF method. In this we will be studying about the non-graphical way. Let us begin with the video. Here if you see, they are saying that a three phase 1500 kva star connected very important star connected 50 years 2300 volt alternator has the resistance between each pair of terminals 0.24 ohms remember each pair of terminals i will explain you what is that next is what a field of 70 ampere produce a short circuit current equal to full load current equal to full load current what is the full load current we, we will need to calculate that the same field current produces open circuit EMF. This is very important. See, same field current produces open circuit EMF of 700 volts. See, the same field current. See, there is some field current which is how much? 70 ampere. Correct or not? See, because of this 70 ampere, what has happened? Because of this particular 70 ampere, what happened is ISC flow. Yes or no? Yes. So that particular ISC short circuit current value whatever is that value we will calculate that afterwards don't worry on that same value or on that same field current whatever voltage i get that is nothing but voc yes or no open circuit voltage so now what are they trying to say is for the same field current it produces open circuit emf of 700 volts that is very important point Turner, which means what voc we already know no 700 volts on open circuit now find its full load regulation at 0 0.8 power factor leading getting my point or not yes by the way all the values are all line values whether it is currents voltage is anything all are line yes or no yes sir now let us see first thing is you need occ correct but now you don't need occ this is the reason why we don't use graphical vc because you don't need need occ why because they have already given you the value of open circuit voltage, no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So you don't need that. That's it. Very simple. Now, next is what? Let us see. Now, 1500 kVA they are saying. 1500 kVA they are saying. Okay, 1500 kVA. Right? Now. And voltage is given. How much is that? 2300 volts. Yes or no? You need to find current. Rated current. How do you get that? What is this? S is nothing but root 3 VLI, yes or no? Root 3 VLI, therefore, how much is that, sir? 1500 equal to how much? Root 3 into VL. What is VL? 2300. By the way, if this is in volts, then this also has to be converted into volt, into VA. That is the reason. Let me multiply this one also by 1000. That's it. Into IL. Now, one equation, one unknown. Solve this. How much is the IL that you get? How much is the IL that you get from here? It is nothing but 1500 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3 into 2300 which is nothing but equal to IL which is nothing but equal to how much 376.5 ampere which is nothing but IA which is nothing but what I phase which is nothing but ISC also correct or not this is nothing but that short circuit current now for this short circuit current at whatever field this is happening how much is that field 70 ampere correct at 70 ampere of this particular field current what has happened i know what is my open circuit voltage now if this is my open circuit voltage what is that 700 so open circuit voltage voc has to be how much sir? voc in the sense open circuit so is it 700 no why it is 700 but it is line value if you want phase value then you please divide this by root 3 why it is line value whatever is given to you is all line they will unless and until specified it is line remember this unless and until specified it is line anyway so 700 divided by root 3 that is nothing but your what do we say voc correct or not now if voc is known isc is known so can i find zs how much is zs let us see on the next page see what is zs zs is nothing but equal to what voc voc upon isc yes or no at what same field current same field current yes or no but then we already know now we are dealing on to same field current only who said that your question said that that is that just because of this sentence if this sentence was not there no that same field current produces open circuit voltage then we would have had 
OCC characteristics. But another fact is that they have not at all given information about characteristics. Why? Because this is the line. This is the very important line. Same will current produces open circuit EMF. This is the very important line you should remember. Anyways, so what is VOC? 700 divided by root 3, yes or no? Divided by what? ISC. What is ISC? ISC is nothing but 376.5. So, student says that 376.5. You please divide this by root 3. How can I divide this? I cannot divide this. Why? Because star connection. Star connection is having what? Star connection is having line current and phase current to be same. Now, if you calculate this, what do you get then? And how much is the field current at which this everything has happened? That is 70 ampere. None of our business. Even if we don't know this value, it's fine. Correct, no? Even if you don't know value of this, it's fine, no? Now, what is it as? 700 by root 3 divided by 76.5. If you solve this, you will get this somewhere around 107 ohm per phase. This is nothing but ZS. Now, see, focus here. You want excess, yes or no? What is excess? Under root of ZS squared minus RA squared. Now, let us think of RA. How much is RA they are saying? See, how much is this RA they are saying? See, if you just focus here, they have given how much RA? Yes, they have given that each pair of terminals is 0 0.24 ohms. Now, what does this mean? Each pair of terminals, each pair of terminals. If you remember, we have said this earlier also. For example, if this is the machine, okay, then this is going to be the yoke, right or wrong? And outside terminal that you have are these terminals. So, between this only you are going to measure the resistance, yes or no? Between this multimeter, in the sense. From this path to this path only, these two paths you are going to consider yes or no. That is the reason we said that for this total it is going to be phase multiplied by 2. Means if this 1 is 2, then this total that will be measured will be 4 over here. That's it. Now, if the total measured is what is how much is that? The total measured is how much? 0 0.24. Total measured is 0 0.24. So definitely per phase value is going to be how much? Half of 0 0.24, which is nothing but. 0.12 which is nothing but 0.12 so basically if you see this becomes this this way that square is nothing but 1.07 joule square minus ra squared what is ra 0.12 square yes or no therefore how much is excess how much is excess from this you will get excess to be equal to 1.06 ohms per phase actually if you see what is happening x by r ratio is too high that is the reason even if you don't take excess even if you neglect it for you know some value it is fine we don't care that even if you neglect ra it's fine why because x by r ratio is very very high why because of slot leakages back to back leakage and all armature reaction leakage and all kind of stuff like that because of that it is all happening we have already seen that earlier in the sessions previous sessions correct anyway so this is our excess now what do we do what do we do? We, we just use our formula. What is that formula? What is that formula? How much is that? EF phase value. What is that? Under root of VT cos phi plus IA RA the whole squared plus VT sin phi plus IA excess plus IA excess. Now here it is plus or minus. Yes or no? Yes. Now if you see in the question they are saying that pointed power factor leading pointed power factor leading in the sense what number one cos phi is going to be pointed yes in the previous question also we have seen if cos phi is pointed then how much is sin phi even if you don't understand let me take it phi is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.8 which is nothing but 36.86 degrees therefore now if you see sine of sine of 36.86 degrees it is nothing but equal to 0 0.6 okay no problem forget about it for me, what is important is this one, leading, you see, they have given leading, correct or not? Yes, which means, which means if they are saying leading, then it means definitely plus is not going to be there, there is going to be only minus sign over here, yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, let us solve, let us replace all the values and, and solve. By the way, what is VT, VT phase value, because all are going to be phase values or not, yes. So. How much is VT given? VT given is 2300. So what is phase value of VT? 2300 by phase is nothing but what? 2300 by root 3. Correct or not? Yes. By the way, your square is also there. Correct or not? So this is VT which is equal to 2300 by root 3. So how much is that value that you get? 2300 by root 3. 
हम सर वन थ्री टू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स बी टी गेटिंग माय पॉइंट आ रहा है सो लेट मी रिप्लेस ऑल डोज वैल्यूज देर एंड सी व्हाट हैपेंस सो अंडर रूट ऑफ व्हाट बी टी बी टी फेस वैल्यू वन थ्री टू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन सो वन थ्री टू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन इनटू व्हाट कॉस फाइव व्हाट इस कॉस फाइव पॉइंट एट प्लस हाउ मच इज आई ए हाउ मच इज आई ए दैट इज नथिंग बट शॉर्ट सर्किट करंट विच इज नथिंग बट रेटेड करंट सो दैट इज द रीजन आई हैव रिटर्न आई ए आई एस ई एंड आई पी एच दे आर ऑल सेम करेक्ट ऑनर सो हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू थ्री सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सो थ्री सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एर करेक्ट ऑनर थ्री सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एर मल्टीप्लाई बाई आर ए हाउ मच इज आर ए सर हाउ मच इज आर ए जस्ट नाउ वी फाउंड आउट आर ए इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन टू सो इन टू जीरो पॉइंट वन टू द होल स्क्वाड प्लस हाउ मच बीटी साइन फाइव बीटी इज हाउ मच अगेन वन थ्री टू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन इन टू वॉट साइन फाइव साइन फाइव नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस वॉट आई ए हाउ मच आई ए थ्री सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इन टू वॉट एक्सेस हाउ मच एक्सेस सर हाउ मच एक्सेस वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स होम्स सो इट इज नथिंग बट वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सर नो होल स्क्वायर दैट सिट ऑल इज सॉल्व नाउ लेट अस पुट दिस इन कैलकुलेटर एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज वॉट हैपन्स लेट अस सी And this particular answer comes out to be one one seven six point seven two volts. That's it. This is the F. Now, what do you do? You just do what voltage regulation. Percentage voltage regulation is how much? Sir? E F minus V T by V T mod of definitely into hundred. Now, what is E F? C one one seven six point seven two one one seven six point seven two minus what V T. One three two seven point nine. One three two seven point nine. Upon one three two seven point nine into hundred. Let us see how much is the value. Yes, the answer is going to be minus eleven point three eight percent. If you see, I had earlier also told you that whenever you are operating at the leading power factor, then it can happen that it may go into. Voltage regulation, which is there, it can be what? It can be negative also. So this is that particular question. Now after this, in the next videos, we will be talking about MMF method, ZPF method, NVSE method, and kind of stuff like that. Okay, thank you.